there's an old castle ruin over there that's what people want to do take a walk to the uh, look at the castle ruin it's a uh, nice take a walk here in the Aarhus area it's Jusland this is uh, a national park called Morsbjau I don't know why those little hills are called mountains but but that's what we, when we only have little hills we need to call something mountains right in Denmark <laughs> but uh, Morsbjau are, are actually quite nice looking it's uh, like from an adventure this is a windmill for your home I'm not sure how many of these we have in Denmark and I'm not sure if they are affordable and like if it makes any sense but it's cool anyway if you're looking for a shelter you could probably camp over there wonder what happened here looks like multiple fireplaces looks like somebody was camping here and it's, there's still fire maybe evil witchcraft or something I better get out of here maybe it was hillbillies so if your name is Billy and you live on a hill you must be a hillbilly so take care so this is what happens when you sometimes follow um, the map on your bike and then you get to a dirt road and I don't really want to bike a lot of kilometers on a dirt road on my road bike so I will uh, need to find another way or just I will not I will not find my destination I had a shelter I wanted to look at but I think it will be another day just for reference it's at the Agri Baunehoi parking lot here so this is not a road for I would I would I would love to see that these maps would show when there is a dirt road but I, I'll need to mark it some way or something try to find out how to do that on open street maps but anyway if you want to visit Denmark and you are in the Aarhus area you should go to Juasland and uh, see this national park it's uh, when it's summer and it's the sun is shining and it's not too cold and uh, this area is uh, quite nice to visit when you're out biking it's a good uh, tip for you in Denmark when you, then you can uh, on your map you can look for uh, toilets and they usually have drinking water so you can always fill your your bottles with drinking water sometimes they have a uh, a water thing outside and you can fill your bottle there if it's always drinking water unless there is a, a, a sign that says it's not drinking water but always check if it's cold water and if it's uh, if the water looks clean it should be like this and taste it and if it tastes good like Danish water should then it's uh, good to go so it's uh, quite nice that the, the, this is one of the best things about Denmark and other countries that are like have clean water tap water it's uh, it's accessible for us many places in the world it's not accessible for people and that's quite sad actually the bird is the word pretty nice area let's see how long for how long we will have clean ocean water in this world <laughs> 